Mr. Pete. Oh, you've gone double. You've gone double denim. I know. Double denim. Super sparkle. D D D P. Finally. D P D D. The look of your guitar matches the twinkle in your eye. Oh, it's sparkly. So. And look at these. Finally, they're here. This didn't take long, did it? Finally. Finally. It didn't take very long, but a long time. Almost a year to the day. Uh, I'm guessing you're watching this video some yeah. point in September 2019. Almost a year ago, mm -hmm. Pete and I uh, were playing around with... It's over there in the... In the yes. The blue ASAP special. It's the one here on the screen now. kind of fallen in love with from the GNL Fullerton range. Yes, awesome guitar. And um, I... I said to Pete, I think we should do some custom shop versions of these guitars. Yes. Didn't know much about the process. Phoned up GNL. They said, totally love to do this. Uh, GNL Custom Shop is basically one guy, a guy called Dave, um, basically. <laughs> With a hammer. Uh, yeah. Um, and a and soldering iron. He's like, yeah, absolutely. What do you want to do? What do you want to do with these ASAT specials? So we kind of went through all the usuals. It's like, can we have lightweight swamp ash bodies and Most, rosewood uh, boards and nitro finishes? Da -da 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 -da. And then we went, can you do some of those like really amazing metallic finish? What happened? I think I saw like on someone online, we were looking for orange guitars for Mick Taylor at some point. And I typed in orange guitars, whatever. And I think that came up. It probably that, that did. Sparkly, that sparkly, but it's not sparkle though, is it? No, so, well, it's flake. So, so anyway. We, don't be flaky. Don't be flake. Cadbury's flake. <laughs> Only the crumbliest, flakiest don't know guitars. What that means. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> we kind about? of literally went, you know what? We know what these guitars look a bit like. I get yeah. that. And so we didn't really want them to be, you know, so we thought we're not going to do Sunburst or all of the sort of traditional old uh, colours that you might associate with another brand from the 1950s. Um, Which kind of the same name. So we decided to go Sparkle. Yeah. And Sparkle is like these finishes here. So Sparkle Purple, Sparkle... Um, Lime kind of green. It's like yeah, metallic. Is that the Margarita one? I'm margarita. not sure. Yeah, that's like, yeah, uh, Margarita. This kind of orangey Ooh. tangerine colour. And then... GNL said, um, why don't you do the flaky finish? Yeah. Why don't you be a bit flaky? Why don't you do flake flake? And uh, so we did a couple in flake. Um, and we said, look, we'll be, in, uh, we'll be in California in January. Do you think we could kind of come and see these being made? And they're like, yeah, of course you can. So we got there and we actually got to see how they make the flake ones. And it's like, it's such a cool thing. There's a video of Pete and I traveling around the GNL factory from, from way back when. I wound my own pickup. I need to find out which, which one? guitar. Uh, do you know what? It's I've in. got a feeling I was winding them onto a black bobbin. So I wonder if it's that one. But you, were you I, winding it up? Absolutely. Um, and, and then literally, so we we're kind of like a couple of them have been, were, were, were being finished in January. So I was thinking, oh, well, they, they can't be that far away before they're here. Yeah. And then literally like another nine months after that. Yeah. Um, but it's a really cool process. Just um, when they cut, so the flakes in these are too big to use on a sprayer. So what they do is they'll, they'll first sort of put like a glue on it and then they literally drizzle it by hand on top of like the... Like a drizzle. Like, that, what's that what guy? What do you call is it? it? What's the salt guy yeah. that does the sort of... They've got Salt Bay, is it? Right? Yeah, so he does They've that. got like a GNL version of him that stands there. And he does just that. Just doing this. There's Actually, these how cool would it be if they did? Wasn't it? <laughs> I could imagine. I'm very messy. Me. Very messy. Yeah. Um, we subsequently found out uh, that the... Um, because of the way the flake finish goes on, it's a sort of an uneven surface, an uneven finish. So you can't uh, nitro cellulose lacquer those. So the no. two flake ones here, the gold and the orange one, mm -hmm. have a nitro finished neck mm -hmm. with a poly finished body. Yeah. And then the sparkle finishes are all nitro. And we've got all the of matching it, you can headstocks. Smell it. Yeah. We've got the matching headstocks on the flaky ones and the plain headstocks on the oh, metallic that's ones. So good. You've got the saddle lock bridge, the um, MFD jumbo single coil pickup. So basically, it's our favourite GNL guitar. Yes. In a custom shop, these I beautiful. Love these. You've basically got this uh, inlaid logo on the back, so it's sort of etched out, and then I think it's Ooh. rosewood or some sort of darker yeah. wood inlaid logo. We GNL went very simple shop. on the on the logo as well on the front there, not having that's true. The name. We just had it very simple. Minimalistic. Yeah. 
And um, they come with a beautiful case. Yeah, and they come with a nice certificate. Don't they? Let me show you the certificate that they come with. GNL Custom Shop. Woo! So you, you get this, this nice uh, envelope. You get two copies of your certificate that tell in, you in case everything like me, about. It. Yeah, tells you everything about how the guitar is made. Um, sorry, what materials rather the guitar's made from. Beautiful mm -hmm. uh, leather-bound uh, guitar case. What strings are on it? All that kind of stuff. You, it, the, the, the sort of spec sheet is signed by David McLaren, who's one of the owners of GNL, and the certificate of authenticity is signed by Phyllis Fender, uh, Leo's wife. That is um, pretty cool, man. Which is kind of cool. And you get that That's nice... That's really cool. Look at that. <laughs> you want a close-up of the Certificate of Authenticity. So very, very cool. Gold, it's a gold leaf on that, around the, the edge there. Oh, it is. Oh. 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 In a nice little uh, envelope. So let's hear some tones, Mr. Pete. Yes, darling. Uh, we should really try one of the flake ones and one of the... Yes, uh, we should. To see if the truth about nitro making a difference to the sound. <laughs> so shall I just start with this one since Absolutely. I have it? Absolutely. So since I have it there. So I'm in the DP40, hello. And um, it's a G chord. Extra reverb. I always find with these <laughs> MFD pickups, what you need to do if you want it to be very single coil sounding, yeah. take the volume back to like number seven. Yeah. And it absolutely gets more of the characteristic of a traditional single coil it's guitar. A little bit more like a P90 kind of type. When it's on full, I think. Yeah. Yeah, when it's on full. So if I if I just dial it back a bit. play as well man okay middle so, middle um, oh yeah no, finish sorry. playing and yeah. i'll do the spec of the next uh middle position it's very um uh and the back uh pick up Sounds that's great. a proper proper tele. It's a tele on steroids, isn't it? It is basically. It is. Oh, that's what I always notice with these pickups, and then change to another Telecaster or another T style, whatever. It's there's just a yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's just got it's, balls, it's, man. It's, you know what I mean? It's fatter pickups. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fatter sounding bridge. Yeah, this whole uh, bridge. It's, it's all designed to just give it a bit. Like it's a te it's a it's a tele on steroids basically. Yeah. No string through on these. Um, no, you've got the belly cut. Strings go into the back of the bridge. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say as well, that yes, so nine and a half inch radius, so very, yeah. very sort of familiar feeling fretboard. Good word, Lee. And a, and a, a very traditional C shape, you know, modern slim T shape uh, guitar. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Sorry, neck, sorry. It's really nice. Lee. Lightweight Swamp Ash we chose. Uh, yeah, these straightforward, are really light, simple bolt on design. I just, it's basically, familiar. it's a slightly. All the ASATs are basically a slightly more rounded edges to a traditional Telecaster. Um, so you just, I don't know, it's got that slightly more ergonomic kind of feel when it's close to your body, when it's close to your body. Yeah, it's good for it's people a, with a bit of extra um, padding. So, <laughs> love this. MFD pickups, if you're not familiar, were one of Leo's big kind of um, definitive sort of breakthrough moments. So it's a fatter sounding pickup. It's a bar magnet, I think, rather than the, the six individual slugs. And um, you can adjust the height of the individual pole pieces with an Allen key. If you wish to adjust the sort of the volume and sensitivity and attack of each individual string, Gosh, Pete, that colour suits you. <laughs> if that had a Cadbury's wrapper on it, it couldn't be any more purple, could it? It's a gorgeous purple colour, isn't it? That is... They nailed that. If it had little bits of, oh, you can of see nuts the... and raisins sticking out of it, it would be a fruit and nut chocolate bar, wouldn't it? I love it. <sighs> uh, this look, one. At, look at the way you can tell these have got the thin lacquer finish on you them. Because you can actually already, even though these are brand brand new, you can already begin to see the contour of the wood underneath the finish. Yes. Oh, 
was so nice. Dirt. Okay, there's a G chord from this one. Seems a little bit brighter. Here we go. Yeah. Doesn't it? Or is Look, it just man, me? I I'm ne I am with you. I am with you, brother. I believe that uh, everything about a guitar changes the tone it of it. It sounds different. It really sounds different. Not really, really, but it definitely sounds... Man, they just play really lovely. They do. You know what I mean? Oh, that's... They're light as well, aren't they? got a certain polytone to it as yeah, opposed it? to a nitrotone, I think. <laughs> oh, you're talking about... They just great, great guitars. You've got such I mean, a beautiful light touch. Play that one again. <laughs> um, Yet. So if you're do you? <laughs> a sort of a guitar enthusiast that uh, likes highly, highly, mm -hmm. hardly felt, that. Uh, highly, highly uh, unusual and rare guitars, mm. uh, there are two of each of these currently in Andersons, and I am reliably informed by uh, the people at GNL that that's that's it for these yeah. for the whole year and possibly I even like prior to that. That's so if you if you really want a guitar that you and only one other person in the world uh, will own at the moment, yeah, that's it. Get yeah, that one. Of course, if for whatever reason one of these particular fine guitars, maybe it's not the colour for you. I don't know, but you like the guitar, you can phone up Andertons and custom order um, a GNL guitar, just the same as you would if you wanted to offend a custom shop or a Gibson made to measure order. Um, just a bit of flame. Know, yeah, flame take about a, and it, you've got lots of options. You don't have to stick quite so religiously to, to the basic ASAT sort of format. You can go slightly more crazy if you want to. Yeah, you can. You can get different super, neck radiuses super and S-types and the whole lot. Whatever you want. But we're here to talk about ASATs. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh man, dude, honestly, these are great. Ooh. That's a great color. They've smashed, they've totally, they've totally smashed totally that, haven't they? That's, that that's a proper, that's the color. Yeah, the grain through it as well. Oh, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, this serial number, this one is, CS one eight one two zero one four. They're all consecutive numbers then, because this is two oh one two. It's presumably yeah two double oh six. So we're, literally we've got like a consecutive run of two oh nine twelve yeah. numbers. So if you're a guitar collector and would like a consecutive batch of twelve serial yeah. numbers from <laughs> by GNL, of them. call me. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, look. These are going to be hanging up in the store, or maybe they're not, I don't know. Should we put them out on display, let people try them? Shall I keep them in our vault? Um, they're Those certainly ones. going to be on our internet site, each individually photographed and weighed. Yeah. Um, Way. Way. They absolutely play lovely. Anyway, we, we, we Good digress. Job. We should just uh, play out and say thank you very Good much for job. watching. Good job. Well done, GNL and Dave Brown and Phyllis Fender and yeah. Dave McLaren. A bunch of legends. Thank you very much. everybody else there. And um, uh, also, can remember I try the uh, the sort of the lime green? Oh, that's one. gorgeous. It's a good color. It's Isn't a that, good and color. That's, that's super light. That one. That's yeah. that's one of the lightest ones here. I just, this is just as light. That's super light. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and um, hit the notification button so you get notifications every time you put a video yeah. out, which is just constantly a ping. Uh, uh, yes, and please like Pete's Instagram channel and anything in the world that you see that's purple. Could be a flower, a oh, butterfly, no, no. could be a car going past. Could literally just be a piece of paper that you've coloured in purple. Take a photo of it and tag Pete Hanoi in it because he loves waking up every morning to 400 notifications of random purple things being sent to
I love it. Oh, it's it's nice great. smell, man. I wish that someone would make like a, a, a thing for the car. After you know, like a wonder bomb smell for of the car. Nitro. And it's just it's just a little guitar and it just smells of no, nitro. I tell you what, man. You know all guitar brands are all looking at ways to try and expand uh -huh. their into lifestyle products, you know, yeah. Marshall with the yeah. fridge and all that kind of stuff. Gibson, you want to do smell of Les Paul. Literally a little spray on and you smell of a new Les Paul coming out the case. It's the only downside is no women will uh, chase after you. You just have lots of guitar enthusiasts following <laughs> Just lots of men going, oh, oh that that smells that great in here. Nice Where room. is it? All of my pheromones or whatever it is are triggering. Um, <laughs> Honestly, in the car, a little hang thing. In the, I it can get a glass bottle, shape of a guitar. Yeah. Smell of Les Paul. Nitro. That's the name of it. Yeah, Nitro. Nitro. Yeah. <laughs> by, 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 by Le Paul. By. <laughs> Nitro by Le Paul. Le Paul. Man, Le that is coming. April the 1st, that is coming. I'm doing it's my very Les own Paul bottle. Les Paul Gaultier. Gaultier. <laughs> Les Paul called. Gaultier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro. And literally, there'll just, be a, there'll just be a picture of like a slightly overweight middle-aged man <laughs> diving off a cliff into the sea, <laughs> yeah. coming up like that. Hello. <laughs> with a guitar. And he walks over and grabs the guitar. And a beer. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's hear a, uh, this one. You can make the other spray called Poly. Can you? Polytone. Yeah. Nitro and Poly. That's for the, you know, that's for poly. people. So that'd be the more affordable one. <laughs> that would be like the, um, that'd yeah. be like the, uh, what do they call it? Like the perfume water, not uh, yeah. proper perfume. But the problem is. Eau de toilette. When, poly. Yeah. Eau de you, toilette. <laughs> when you spray it on, you can never get it back off again. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It doesn't wear off. It's a super long lasting aftershave. You smell the same for the next 15 years. <laughs> <laughs>